Okay, we've got the position vector of A, the position vector of AB. So I found AB by just taking those away, so then B take away A. So that gives me AB. And then the magnitude of that, if I just do Pythagoras on this vector, I get the magnitude. Then I need to work out the equation of the line between them. So I've just taken point A plus lambda times the direction vector, which we know is the same thing as doing AB. So that was part B of the question. Then I was told a different line, which was this equation, and I had to show that B was also on this line. So I took this, reciprocated it in this form, and then made it equal to point B. And then over here, wrote down these equations. So um, you have six plus two mu equals four. That means that mu has to be minus one. Four plus mu equals three. That means mu has to be minus one. And the same with the z coordinate as well. So because mu is minus one of all of them, that's consistent. And we so therefore b will be on this line where mu is minus one. So that's part d of the question. Uh, sorry, part c of the question. Part d, we have to work out the angle between these two lines. So I've just used the dot product rule, then the dot product of a and b uh, of this line and this line. The direction vector of this line, remember, is the 3, 4, minus 5. The direction vector of this line was given to us. So we can do the dot product of those to get 5. Apply the cosine rule. Um, the dot product here, so I get 5 over 5 root 2, which was the magnitude of A that we worked out up here. The magnitude of B is root 6. That's just the 2 squared plus 1 squared plus minus 1 squared, all square rooted. If you work out that, you get... Uh, the angle is being 73.2. Just ignore the coffee coffee stain there. Um, and then the last part of the question, I've just drawn this diagram, I get diagram out again in a little bit more detail. So I've got line L2 going across here, I've got line L1 going up there. I know from the last part of the question the angle there is 73.2 degrees. Um, and I know that the two points crossed at point B. I knew that from part C of the question. Um, and the question wanted me to work out the shortest distance from A to the point to the line L2. I know that the shortest distance is going to be when this is perpendicular. This is the shortest distance between A and the line L2. So, um, I know I've got a right angle triangle there. I know this angle is 73.2. I know this length is 5 root 2 because I worked it out over here. And then I can just do... Uh, sine 73.2 is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse and that allows me to work out the length x.